Hi, my name is Mike Smith. Your doctor has prescribed for you the V-Pulse system. The V-Pulse system is going to help you in your recovery process. This video is going to help explain how that's going to work. The V-Pulse was designed for the prevention of deep vein thrombosis, and that's blood clots forming in your leg. The V-Pulse system is really three therapies in one device. First, you have circulating ice water that's going through a wrap at the surgical site. Second is going to be dynamic compression around that wrap. Third is sequential compression. That's going to help stop the formation of those clots. These are the components that come with your V-Pulse system. The control unit, wall adapter, ice bottles that'll separate for ease of freezing, calf wraps, tubing for those wraps, quick start guide, and the patient's manual. You'll want to hang on to this. It's going to be very helpful. Okay, find a comfortable place to either lie down or sit down. Fill the control unit with ice and water. Plug in your wall adapter. Secure your calf wraps. Attach your tubing. Now get ready. Relax. This is going to be a good session. Fill the container with water to the water fill line. Then add the ice to the line inside the container. To close the V-Pulse, replace the handle aligning the dot on the thumb lock to the top cover. Rotate clockwise, listening for the positive locking click. Once the ice bottles are frozen, fill the container with water to the water fill line. Then attach the ice bottles to the tree and place inside the container of the V-Pulse. Plug in the power wall adapter into the back of the V-Pulse. In doing so, the system will perform a self-test. Afterwards, it is ready to go. Now to begin our session, let's select each of the therapies. First, for the ice water that's gonna be circulating through that wrap at the surgical site, the white button will be indicated. Now, for compression around that same wrap, is the blue button for dynamic compression. The orange button, that's going to be the calf wraps and the compression there that's gonna to help to stop the formation of those blood clots. The last button is the start button. Start with the calf pads first. Place a pad on each calf. Strap the pad so it fits snugly over the whole calf. The tubing should exit the pad at the back of the leg near the foot. Ask your prescribing physician whether you should use one or both pads for prevention treatment. Strap the knee pad so it is centered and fits snugly over the knee. The knee pad may be positioned differently if you want to route the tubing set another way. The pad should be secure, but does not have to be overly tightened. Strap the universal pad so it is centered and fits snugly over the knee. The universal pad may be positioned differently on the knee if you want to route the tubing set another way. The pad should be secure, but does not have to be overly tight. For initial setup, lay the pad over the top of the involved shoulder. Take the strap located at the chest, run the strap across the body and under the opposite arm, and back around to the other side of the pad. Then secure the strap around the arm. Tighten the strap so the pad is secure. For easy on-off application, release the top strap only. Reach behind you to re-secure the strap across the chest. With the fluid connector at the top of the pad, place your heel in the corner of the pad or the boot. Take the strap located at the top and secure it across the calf. Then repeat the same action with the strap that secures the foot. Tighten the strap so the pad is secure.
lay the pad over the top of the involved hip. Take the strap located at the waist and run the strap around the body like a belt and secure. Then take the strap located at the bottom of the hip and run the strap between the legs and across to the other side of the pad. Repeat this action with the strap around the lower thigh. Tighten all straps so the pad is secure and comfortable. With the fluid connector at the bottom of the pad, lay the pad over the top of the surgical site. Tighten the waist belt so that the pad is secure and comfortable. Lay the universal pad over the top of the involved surgical shoulder. Take the strap located at the chest and run the strap across the body and under the opposite arm and back around to the other side of the pad. Then secure the strap around the arm. Tighten the strap so the universal pad is secure. The connections on the tubing set are color-coded and keyed. Connections can be made only one way. The tubing is held together by straps that can be positioned as you choose. Attach the connectors on the tubing set to the connectors on the V-pulse. Confirm a secure connection. Connect the other end of the tubing set to the appropriate pads. Confirm this connection as well. Press the Start Stop button on the control panel. This button will illuminate green when the system is running. You can change the settings only when the system is stopped. Press the Start Stop button to show the light turning on and off. The sounds from the V-Pulse are the compression cylinder cycling off and on and the motor circulating the water. You should feel the cold water begin to circulate in the cold pad. Each pad will begin individually inflating and deflating in succession. The entire circuit takes a little over a minute. It may take several cycles before all pads are fully inflating and deflating. When using this system, please check the skin where the pads are applied. Discontinue use if continued numbness, skin discoloration, blisters, etc. are present. And contact your healthcare provider. Because this is a prescription device, please refer to your healthcare provider for treatment parameters prior to applying the system and or using the system. Do not store the V-Pulse with water in the container or the pads. Begin by removing water from the pad by rolling the pad up while still connected, squeezing the water back into the container, disconnect the hoses, then empty the container and ice bottles. Allow to air dry completely before storing.